Still in Champion Select? Lee Sin can easily kill Kha'Zix in the early game before he evolves his abilities if he doesn't get boosts from Unseen Threat. Fiddlesticks can play with Ka around if he gets invaded and will crush him in the team fighting phase of the game. Finally, Sejuani has enough tank stats, CC and mobility to leave Ka crying alone in the jungle. Shivana after 6, Shaco with his very strong early in boxes and Vi for the same reasons as Sejuani are all viable counters too. Kha'Zix's passive has two sides to it. First, it marks champions that are near no alley of them, minions and pets included, as isolated. His first auto attack after an enemy loses height of him gets bonus damage and also slows the target. Kha'Zix gets a chance to evolve three of his abilities throughout the game and all will have an empowered version. His Q is a close range point click ability that deals AD damage and this gets increased by 65% against isolated targets. When evolved, it will also reduce the cooldown by 45% if the target is isolated. His W throws out a cluster of spikes in a line that will heal him if he's near the target when they hit. When evolved, he'll fire three of these in a cone and will slow the enemy by 40 or 80% if the target is isolated. Cause E makes him fly and when evolved will increase its range as well as refresh the cooldown on enemy champion takedowns. His ultimate allows him to go invisible twice within 10 seconds for one and a half seconds. When evolved, it will also grant him invisibility when entering and leaving brushes. Most guys will evolve Q first for ganking and invading purposes, then E, then W, leaving the ultimate unevolved. Ka is an innate jungler, meaning he'll take smite, so will you if you're playing jungle too. Try to bring the red smite versus him to deny him some of his burst damage and maybe kill him in the process if you've brought one of his counters. Due to his evolutions, level 6, 11 and 16 are all very interesting power boosts, but his level 3 is when he can not only gank efficiently, but also invade, so be careful for that. Finishing up his warrior enchantment on his jungle item grants him another skirmishing boost. His usefulness shines especially in the early to mid game, like with any other assassin, but gets punished in the late team fizing phase of the game. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, be careful when you're in the jungle all alone, maintain your distance since his only gap closer is E, and protect your squishies in the backline in the team fighting phase. Ultimately, have fun doing it.